All right, for the second time this week, we're going to be hearing from Governor Hogan. He is expected to give a coronavirus update at 4 o'clock Thursday afternoon. That's 4 o'clock. His office says he's going to discuss additional investments in health initiatives. And this comes as the cases continue to rise. We're talking 1,700 new cases. 16 people have died. The positivity rate is above 5.5%. And the cases are the second highest that we've seen in a single day, just 70 below the record set back in May. And we've had 1,000 plus cases per day, eight straight days now. Positivity is up and now it's at 5.6%. That's a one and a half percent increase in the past week. 4,100 Marylanders have died because of this virus. We lost 16 lives in the last 24 hours. That is the most deaths that we've seen in a single day. We have to go back to July the 3rd for that. Now the coronavirus is also impacting our red hot Maryland Terrapins. They have canceled their game against Ohio State. This comes after eight players tested positive for the virus in the past week. The game will not be made up, won't be rescheduled, and the team is also pausing all activities until cases go back down. Maryland was riding a two game winning streak beating Minnesota and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. Baltimore County Schools are also clarifying now how they're going to reopen when it's safe to do so. The county school board says they won't consider reopening until their positivity rate is below 5% and their case rate is below 15. Tonight we're seeing 6% and nearly 24. Those numbers are way off. So those metrics will be checked every Friday and compared to a point scale. And if the numbers are too high, school will go back to being virtual. The county was supposed to start some in-person learning Monday, but that has been postponed indefinitely. Now we're tracking lingering rain chances as we head into the day tomorrow. I think the best time to see some of those showers will be earlier in the day with those rain chances diminishing as we head into the evening. Temperatures will hang out in the mid to upper 50s through most of the day. I do think we'll climb into the 60s for a couple of hours. That's why our daytime high is 64 at the harbor, 61 in Essex, 60 in Bel Air. Unfortunately, we're cooling as we head through the weekend here down to 56 degrees on your Saturday. Rain chances return to the forecast late Sunday night. A little bit milder for your Monday, but cooler temperatures as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank you, Patrick. Well, click with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.